We're bringing a family destination here in the Vanita area on Route 66. What we're bringing here is often not found any place except on the east and west coast. Where else to put American Heartland than in America's Heartland? Our theme park is scheduled to open in the fall of 2026. The theme park is going to be based on different lands. Liberty Village, as you enter the park through the main entrance, the Great Plains area, the Bayou Bay, Big Timber Falls, the Stony Point Harbor, and then Electropolis. We have a four-star hotel with a boardwalk that will be there. We have custom-designed rides, a slew of attractions, and live shows that will be going on throughout the day. And then we also have an RV park campground resort that we'll be developing. That park is going to have 300 cabins and 750 RV spots, along with a lot of amenities that will be in the park. This project is going to add thousands of jobs immediately. It's going to add sales tax revenue, hotel motel tax revenue that's going to help our city, it's going to help our fire department, it's going to help our police department, our streets. We're here to develop something that's going to help all the people, not only in northeast Oklahoma, but in all the surrounding state and all through the Midwest. It's set up perfect on Route 66, right by Interstate 44, Highway 60. The Jefferson Highway runs right here in front of it. It is definitely family friendly. That's our whole objective. We want it to be the heart and soul of entertainment, something that they can afford and not spend their life savings to come spend a week with us. We can all see it now. We can see the, the roller coasters. We can see the RV park, the cabins, the pools. I'm excited to welcome you to the next big attraction right here on historic Route 66 in Northeast Oklahoma. Now that's something that we can get behind. Thank you, Oklahoma. See, this is this is thinking. And Katie, you had a response a couple of them during that during that oh, I did. little tea. You said, "Well, I would take my kiddos there. Go ahead and share I am, your thoughts I am, on that." I'm I'm very excited. So 2026, while it's too far away, I know it's also it'll be here in a a blink of an eye when you have little kiddos so that'll be the perfect age for the kids go we can drive there we don't have to automatically fly as they even indicated it's not going to cost you as like a life savings to get to it's perfect for the middle of the country which has nothing as exciting as what you got out on the coast and most importantly it, they actually care about america like that's something to be just excited about I, I saw the thing it said charlotte's web i'm very excited about going to the little charlotte's web area it's amazing that one of one of your points says well they actually care about america it's yeah. like, it's like <laughs> well, well it's, there's a lot of people that don't think america is a great country or whatever and they don't care about america but it's, it's amazing you got to point that out but uh 1000 acre development it will include the large-scale rv park and campground and it's going to be called the three ponies rv mm -hmm. park and Camp Crowd is going to cover 320 acres and it will hold or host 750 RV spaces, 300 cabins, and that is scheduled to open in 2025. So two years away from that. For camping. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's really, uh, I think it's amazing, it, very creative that they're doing this. Um, I really love Oklahoma. I love the people there. I've been there a couple times. Uh, great churches, great conservative government generally uh, some good pastors my friends Paul Blair and Dan Fisher are there in Edmond and uh, it's just uh, I, I like the state it does get a little little hot and humid but um, hey looks like there was plenty of water features around this uh, new park it seems like a really good thing so other than the heat and all that you're saying it's okay it's better than okay